Okay, one of the things we discussed the last couple of weeks is we started getting into some problems that involved what are called base numbers. And every um, number has a certain base. Most of the numbers we do are in what's called base 10. So for instance, if I give you a number like 2,347, one way to write this is 7 times 10 to the 0 power, which 10 to the 0 is just 1, plus 4 times 10, well, the 4 is in what we call the tens digit, so it's 10 to the first, plus 3 times 10 squared, because the 3 is in the hundreds digit, which when you, better than saying in the hundreds digit, digit it's in the 10 squared um, digit, and then the 10 cubed digit is the last one. And if you were to go through and do this sum, you'd get exactly 2,347. And so that's how base 10 works. So if you do base of a different number, so for instance, if I take um, something in base 4, let's say 1, 3, 2, 1 in base 4, then we, it's important for us to be able to change that to an equivalent base 10. Um, and, uh, you know, there, there are lots of things you can do with base 4 numbers and, and the way you can talk about them, and, and in particular base 2 numbers, which we'll talk about in a second. But essentially what it means if something is in base 4 is that the 1 is in not the 10's place, ten, I mean the 1's place, well it still is in the 1's place, but it's in the 4 to the 0 place. So you would do 1 times 4 to the 0. And then the 2 is into the 4 to the 1st place, so you would do 2 times 4 to the first, and 4 to the first is just 4, 4 to the 0 is 1. And so now, on this base 4 number, we don't have a tens digit, we've got a fours digit. And then the next one is going to be 3 um, plus 3 times 4 squared, and so now instead of a hundreds digit, we have a 4 squared, which is a sixteens digit. And then finally, the last one is just going to be 4 to the third, and so instead of having a thousandths digit, we now have a sixty-fourths digit. So when you go through and add these up, you just do four to the zero is one, so that's one, plus eight, three times sixteen is forty-eight, one times sixty-four, or four cubed is sixty-four. You add those together and you end up with a hundred and eleven. So one three two one base four is equivalent to one hundred and eleven base ten. So that's what you're going to, they were going to be doing. So if you're going to convert, um, one, uh, one zero zero one one zero one base two to base ten. You just start and you say, well, I've got one two to the zero. I've got none, so this is the two to the two to the first. I've got none of those. I've got one then two squared, one two to the third. These two represent two to the fourth and two to the fifth. I don't have either one of those, and so finally, my last one's going to be two to the sixth. And so that's going to give me 1 plus 4 plus 8. 2 to the 6 is just 64. And so the answer is going to be 77. And so 1001101 zero, zero, one, one, zero, one, base 2 is equivalent to 77. And base 2 is a very valuable base to work in because it represents... important for computers. Uh, all computers are run on a base 2 system. Uh, it's essentially a uh, yes-no system um, of communication where 1 is yes and, and 0 is no, uh, I believe. So the, the second one we're going to look at is actually a base 5 number. And so when we look at this, 324 base 5, well, the, the 4 is the 1's digit again, 5 to the 0. The 2 is what we call the 5's digit, which would be 5 to the 1st. And the 3 is the 25's digit, which would go 5 squared. And so when we go through and multiply that together, it gives us 4 plus 10. 25 times 3 is 75. So 324 base 5 is equivalent to 89 base 10. And the last one is just a base 8 number to base 10. And so it's going to be 5 times 8 to the 0, because that's the 1's place. 7 times 8 to the 1st, because that's the 8's place. Uh, 1 times 8 squared plus um, 2 times 8 cubed. 
And so you go through and you're going to multiply this one out, and these are getting, our numbers are starting to get a little bit bigger here because we're in base 8. Um, 8 cubed is going to be 512, so it's going to be 1024. And so you multiply, uh, you go through and add those numbers up, um, and you get uh, 1149. And so um, 2017 ba 2075 base 8 is equivalent to 1149 base 10.